What's going to happen to you when you die? I'm going to heaven. Why? Because I'm not going to hell. <laughs> Why? Because I'm a good, I'm Minnesota nice. Ah, so, okay, so I'm just Minnesota nice. I'm set to go with God? Yeah. Uh-huh. How do you know if you're Minnesota nice? Well, you, know, you got to follow the Minnesota tradition. You know, you got to get out and speak Friday to night? somebody. You know, I you got to speak to somebody. You got to smile. You know, you got to have words. a big heart. You know, you got to care for people, you know. You know that's Minnesota nice. I see. I didn't know that. Yeah. All right. Is it possible, would be there, there be any way I could convince you that you're Minnesota not nice? It'd be pretty tough. Be pretty tough, eh? Here's a little test that I'm going to give you. Okay, okay, I'm ready. All right. How many lies do you think you've told in your entire life? <sighs> Ballpark me. <laughs> I couldn't put a number on it. Okay. All right. I couldn't put a number. Okay. So would it be fair enough for me to call you a, what would you call me if I told a bunch of lies? What would you call Liar. Okay. All right. Strike one. Uh-huh. All right. Have you ever done anything besides lying that made mom and dad real? Well, you know what? We can probably put dishonoring mom and dad right with that because you've already told lies and it didn't make them happy, right? Uh-huh. And maybe you didn't clean your room when you were told to? Yeah. You were naughty? Oh, yeah. You know, like the rest of us? Uh-huh. All right. So you're a naughty kid. Uh-huh. So that's on your record, too. Okay. All right. Let's try this one. You ready for this? Okay. Uh, uh, have you ever looked at a woman with lust? Yes, I have. All right. <laughs> what Jesus said. If you look with lust, you've committed adultery in your heart. Uh-huh. All right, so let's let's just do a summation here. Um, you're lying, uh, naughty, adulterer at heart. Have you ever taken God's name in vain? No, I don't. You know, no, blasphemy? I, no, not, All right. not a blasphemy. Oh, that's good. That's a good thing. Okay, have you ever stolen anything? No, I don't like stealing either. I'm like one of them good kind of people. I don't know what oh, it is. Oh, wait, besides, besides the lying, the, nice. besides the lying the dishonoring, and the adultery, <laughs> have you ever murdered anybody? Oh, definitely not. Definitely not. Have you ever been driving down the road, somebody cut you off, and you maybe flipped them off, you got mad at them, said a bit? Not at all. Ever? Not I'm not a man. She's the one with road rage. <laughs> I see. I'm patient. You know? I see. Yeah. She's, the, She's from right? New York. She's not Minnesota nice. I see. So you've never done that one? Yeah. All right, that's a, good, that's a good one. Has God always been first in your life? Yes, definitely. Absolutely positive. Positive. Right, so, dude, if I got 10 of your friends around, uh-huh. and I said, who, what is the number one priority in Romel's life, they would say... At least eight of them would say God. Eight of them. Maybe would say. two of them might say uh, cheese curds or something. <laughs> but, <you know>. All <laughs> right. But, uh, yeah, what about know. covenant? Do you know what that is? Uh, like uh, if you. Uh, you see something you want it, you yeah. desire it, you uh-huh. love to have that thing or uh-huh. win the lottery, right? Uh-huh. Okay, that's a hard problem because uh-huh. it means that we aren't grateful to God for all that he's already provided. Uh-huh. So it's called covenant. All uh-huh. right, so dude, we tagged you on at least four of the commandments. Uh-huh. All right. Now, would that be a nice guy or would that be a guilty guy? Well, first of all, you got to know a little bit about the commandments. I mean, actually, the commandments was made to show you that you're a sinner. I mean, we all are dude, guilty. Rock on. <laughs> that was exactly what I was trying to share. Very good. Yes, when did you learn that? As I said, you know, those switches might have paid off. <laughs> okay, you're right. That's exactly what those commandments are supposed to help you do. They're supposed to help you understand you're not Minnesota nice, uh-huh. but we're what? human bad, uh-huh. right? Uh-huh. Because you said you were going to go to heaven by being nice. No, you said that. I did not. You said that. <laughs> are you sure? Are you lying? <laughs> I, don't, I don't do that anymore. Oh, okay. Yeah. So how do you get to heaven then? Well, how do you get to heaven? Well, the, the Bible says if you confess with your mouth and you believe in your heart, you will be saved. Okay. Let me, let me ask you this question. Would you consider yourself to be a good person? Yes, I would. Okay. Here's the problem. The Bible says you're not a good person. So something's wrong here. So who's right, the Bible or you? The Bible just is, the Bible doesn't necessarily say I'm not a good person. Oh, it's yes, just, it does. Everybody sins and falls short of God's standard. Okay, yeah, I agree. All of our righteous deeds are like filthy rags. Okay, yes, I agree. Our, you know, and our sins are like dog vomit, the smell of an open grave. Ooh, wow. Nobody does good, no, not one. Yeah, it gets even worse than that. Ooh. That's what our sins look like to God. Wow, yeah. And that's the problem, because his standard... See, we, from out, we're like, we think that our sins are kind of, you know, boys will be boys, we look, we talk, you know, mm, but God has got a way higher standard. Yeah. And he sees our sins, and they're really, really bad. And you, just like everybody here, are not Minnesota nice. We're really bad and wretched. So what we need to do is adjust our thinking Uh and thinking that we're not good, but we have to agree with God. We're very, very bad. Okay, yeah. we've broken his laws. Okay, yeah. And that's where that whole Jesus thing comes in. That's right. Right? Because he took the punishment. That's right. We deserve because we're... 
bad. That's bad. why. There you That's go. Bad. We're really, really bad. Yeah. And he was really, really good. And with the way that we know we're bad is God poured out his wrath that was aimed at you and me mm -hmm. on his son, Jesus. And in exchange, he takes your badness, you get his goodness. Because we're bad. He's good. Great exchange. I agree. Right? I agree. Okay. Look, dude, I don't know your heart. Mm -hmm. God does. You do. But my concern is the Bible says God resists the proud. Mm -hmm. He gives grace to the humble. And until we humble ourselves before his mighty hand, he won't save us. Because he wants to get all the credit for being the rescuer, for being the God who saved Ramel. Mm -hmm. And if you go, well, I was pretty good and he didn't have to do a lot of, ooh, he doesn't like that. Mm -hmm. He wants to rescue you and save you and get all the credit for it. So if you will humble yourself and confess all of your sins, turn from them and put your trust in Jesus, then you'll go to heaven, not because you're a good guy, <laughs> but because you're a bad guy who's been forgiven by a good God. I agree. That's Fair right. enough? Yeah, Have you done fair. that? Yes. You're sure? Yes. And the next time somebody asks you if you're, how you're getting to heaven, you say, Hope. I'm a bad guy. I've been forgiven by a good God. Jesus Christ took my payment. He took the punishment. He bought me back when I repented and put my trust in him. Fair enough? Yes, fair enough. That was worth a million bucks. See you Thank later. you.